Hi, I'm Samuel Clemens, but you may know me as Mark Twain. I was born on November. I was born premature on November 30th, 1835, the same day and year. Hagar's comet streaked across the sky above my home in Florida, Missouri. I lived there. I lived there in Florida, Missouri, until I was four years old. That's when the fam. That's when my family moved. Moved from Florida to Hannibal, Missouri. There, I was very mischie mischievous. I was born with it, but still, my mother sent me to school, and I, and I hated it. But thank goodness, Hooky had already in been invented. <laughs> and my days at Hook of Hooky ended when my father died. He died of hypothermia. But one thing I learned at school, because the teacher absolutely nailed it down our throats, was that six times seven equals 35. <laughs> In order to support the family, I went to my good old older brother's Orion print shop. In 1849, I quit being a printer, and I became a steamboat man. <clears throat> I love the river so much that I changed my name to Mark Twain. Mark Twain means 12 feet, and 12 feet is the shallowest depth of which a steamboat can safely pass through. <clears throat> I also love the river so much that my, that my little brother Hen that I lured my little brother Henry onto a steamboat and we got put on separate steamboats and his blew up. He later, later, a few days later, he died from his injuries. I quit being a steamboat man when the Civil War began and I became a Confederate soldier who had never fought a battle. While my friend, and after a week of embarrassing constant retreating, <clears throat> my friends joined the regular Confederate Army, but I skedaddled west. I skedaddled west as a silver miner, and we found silver worth about a million and it got stolen. Then I went to San Francisco as a newspaper writer. After that, I was forced to quit for taking up for the Chinese laborers. Then I went to Sacramento as an, also as a newspaper writer. That's when I wrote Jim Smiley and the celebrated jumping frog in Calaveras County. And and that, that story is what made me famous enough to, to actually have people in the, in the opera house, to actually have people in the opera house when I lectured. After I became famous in the West, I moved east. There I met Olivia Langdon. And believe me, it was love at first sight when I saw her. <laughs> I courted her for two years, and I wrote letters to win her. Then I married her in 1870. In 1872, I wrote my, I wrote my first actual book, Roughing It. Then, and we had our first son. But he died of diphtheria later. In 1874, I wrote, I published Tom Sawyer, also the same year that we had our first daughter. Susie. Oh. Hope you don't mind smoking, especially you younger ones. I started smoking when I was nine, just to be exact. Then, after Susie, after Susie came, out came Claire and Jean. After, after, after those three were born, I continued to write more successful books. My most successful was Huckleberry Finn. And why did America like my books? 
Well, for one thing, they were humorous, and another thing, I wrote the way people talked. <coughs> and I spent more than I made. And I went lecturing to make up for the lost money. Despite my humorous lectures and my humorous stories, there was much sadness in my life. My favorite daughter, Susan, died of spinal magnetis. And I wasn't even there to see, to see her funeral. Then my beloved wife, Olivia Clemens died in 1904. Then, my youngest daughter, Susie, I mean, not, uh, Jean. She, she died on Christmas Eve by drowning in the bathtub and be, and be, the cause of that was a epileptic seizure. In 1910, at, su at sunset on April 21st, 1910, I went to join the rest of my family because I had died of heart disease. And if I was coming in with Halley's Comet, and I would go out with Halley's Comet. <laughs>